a misconception in the students, mostly in the B.Tech, just because if you are not having great career opportunities to start with after B.Tech immediately, then so in the cloud technologies, of course, if you have the cloud infrastructure and architecture knowledge and hands on practice, which you learned in M.Tech, of course, you will have a really good quick job in the startup and there you will learn a lot. Every day one company was coming and they were having their uh, hiring process, etc. Every day. 45 companies and all those were big big names and big big payment that that time once you an expert you are an expert expert versus a normal engineer salary is always a big difference everyone my name is vishwadeep and i welcome you all on pw gatewala channel there is a misconception in the students mostly in the btech maybe because of the surrounding or maybe because of the other people the misconception is if you want to be in academics, if you want to teach, if you want to be a professor or if you want to be in only research, then only you go for MTech. If you want to work in MNCs, if you want to work in, you know, a software field or something like that, you don't go for MTech in computer science and DSAI, etc. But this is purely misconception. Why? I'll tell you. Just because if you are not having great career opportunities to start with after BTech immediately, then you will start with the regular opportunities, maybe in service based companies or a very low payment company where the work will be also very not too great, but normal where you will not be able to learn a lot. So in that case, of course, the growth opportunities are too, not too many in terms of money, also in terms of learning, also in terms of work also, and you will end up not growing, you know, exponentially over there. So if you are getting amazing opportunity after BTEC in a job or something, that's perfectly fine. But if not, then the best possible opportunity you can grab is after MTech. So if you write the gate exam, you go for MTech in some of the colleges, then you will be having amazing career opportunities. What those career opportunities are, I am going to talk about in this particular session. So let's start with the first one. What it says, industry opportunity, of course. Industry opportunity means what? Of course, if you go to the MTech in IIT and IIT or Triple IIT or really good college, you learn the domain specific knowledge and a lot of practical implementation in just two years. People is have people are having this misconception also. I have seen already college culture. They even though if college is really good, they don't teach much or they don't have much of the learning opportunities, etc. Cut short those things. Did you ever study in IIT? Did you ever study in IASC? I have. I know that in two years, whatever I learned in IASC was way more than what I have learned in my entire life. So career wise, learning wise, you have great opportunities to learn. Once you learn the domain specific knowledge, let's say AI or let's say ML or let's say system design or let's say VLSI design or microchip design or something like that. I am talking about electronics also, but for computer science and DSAI student also, if you learn something in the masters, you will get the domain specific job and such kind of jobs are having a great boom nowadays, a requirement, a lot of demand is there. So this first thing which I was to I was talking about is uh, industry opportunities, a high demand is there in all the companies of AI engineers, machine learning engineers, data scientists, and of course, computer scientists who are great in terms of research, who are great in terms of learning, who are great in terms of development. And of course, when high demand is there, high payment is there, as simple as that. So we have diverse field, all these fields I, I have talked about, then cyber security we have, then a lot of data security we have, a lot of things are there in the industry you don't even know. Once you go to the IITs and do the MTech over there, you learn those things. And then when you go to the industry, you do great job and earn a lot of money. Startups, many of the startups are working on the very specific area. Let's say SaaS software as a service, but in the cloud, okay, cloud technologies are there. So in the cloud technologies, of course, if you have the cloud infrastructure and architecture knowledge and hands on practice, which you learned in MTech. Of course, you will have a really good quick job in the startup and there you will learn a lot. Money plus learning both will be amazing in the startups. So you have great opportunities of doing great work and then exponential increment in terms of learning, in terms of 
you know, money, etc. I have seen a lot of people saying that, see, I am not getting really good job, but payment is fine after two years. When you will start, you, when you will end up doing MTech, I will also reach to the same payment. I'll tell you one thing. After MTech of two years, no earning, one person going directly for the job after BTEC, two years of experience, that fellow is switching the job, etc., reaching almost to the same package as you are starting. But after five years, if you will compare, there will be at least 30 lakh difference in the package. MTech fellow will be growing higher and higher just because that fellow has the domain knowledge to back. The knowledge which that fellow has learned in two years, only learning, learning and learning has made the base. Now, when you start, let's say with 25 lakhs per annum, that fellow is also around 20, 22 lakhs per annum. You will reach to one CR in next two to three years, four years or maybe five years. That fellow will definitely be not be able to reach. Everybody, of course, will not be able to reach. I cannot say always it will happen, but in the general and most of the scenarios after MTech, your growth will be quicker. Why? Just because you have learning and knowledge to back your growth. Next is research opportunities. See, development and research. Every particular big company is having research domain and research department. So if you have learned a lot in your MTech, done a really good research project, you can directly be connected into those companies, let's say Google or Microsoft, or maybe, you know, Amazon, Apple, Nvidia, Oracle and you can be the part of their research team. The research team gets maximum budget, one of the maximum budget. Why? Just because research team brings up those new things which are not present in the market, which makes this particular company ahead of everybody in front of the peers, in front of all the competitive companies. And hence, this particular company grows well, gets a lot of business. So whatever they spend on the research, they get, get it back once a big project of the research is done. So companies are spending a lot of money on the research. If you are really good in the research, you will be really, really good, you know, uh, opportunity you will be having in the industry. So research and development, a lot of, lot of innovative projects are coming up. And most of the projects you will get to know about are from your Professors only when you will go to the MTech in the MTech your professors will tell you this is the project going on if you want I can talk to those company people and you can get a job directly why just because these professors are helping them in their research so they are directly connected with the industry people and you can get directly referral over there. Next thing, the third point here is academia. Of course, as I already told, if you want to teach, let's say for gate or maybe in the engineering colleges or you want to be the professor in IITs, MTech and then PhD or if you can go directly PhD options is also available. You can go ahead with that also. So academia, if any college, normal college in IITs, IITs, wherever you want to go, MTech is the very first step you can go ahead with. If you want to be a gate teacher also like us, of course, MTech will help you understanding the courses till the core and your learning will be really good. Of course, your profile will be amazing and you can start your gate teaching with a really good knowledge plus with really good profile so that you can get really good growth over there too. Apart from that, next is engineering, of course. As I already told you, a lot of opportunities are there, different, different domains, software engineer, hardware engineer, network engineer, machine learning engineer, data engineer, cyber security analyst, and many more. And it is not only in the private sector, in the government sector also. If you talk about government sector, PSUs, a lot of, lot of such kind of jobs are getting out. So if you want to work as a specific domain engineer, let's say cyber security engineer, there are a lot of opportunities in intelligence bureau ib yes indian government under indian government directly that department is working and in that you will be having cyber security engine oh uh, sorry cyber security engineer job directly you will be able to get a job over there government job secure job a good payment good relaxed life and of course a lot of benefits of being a government employee so domain specific work is also there in the 
government jobs you can go ahead with that also and you all are aware of these things in top iits placements highest and average nowadays you can see highest packages are going in crores so of course money wise which we wanted from our career we are getting it look at this the numbers are really really good over here 44 and 45 2 crores 5 crores 3 crores 2 crores 1 crore and like that a uh, few days ago i got to know that one of my student only got 1.14 crore package in uh, honda as ai engineer from iit delhi mtech in ai he is doing mtech in ai second year now fine now as i already told about this btech versus mtech placement i already told about this that i'll i'll, I'll tell you one story when i was in my btech no any company visited our college just because it was of course a tier 3 college and 2009-10 scenario where a lot of you know uh, big trouble economic trouble was going on recession was going on when i went to mtech i was amazed to know that approximately 45 companies were lined up initially at very first phase in iic bangalore for hiring us every day one company was coming and they were having their uh, hiring process etc every day 45 companies and all those were big big names and big big payment that that time that time 14 years ago they were giving us 9 to 12 lakh package it was amazing at that time for sure of course and then nowadays 25 30 25 30 is very good norm very normal average package over there so of course you can get into top colleges where you'll be having lot of big companies lined up and telling you please come and give our interview we want you on to be onboarded by us big companies are coming to the college and asking the colleges please give us opportunity to conduct an interview to hire people from here just because they know that the companies uh, the the institutes are amazing the institutes are amazing students over there are amazing whatever student they will take those students will work perfectly fine amazingly there right so there is a huge huge difference between btech placement and mtech even though even if your btech college is really good you are getting those kind of companies etc perfectly fine but if you are not getting top companies over there then you will have to think about it that what exactly you can end up with and of course salary wise i already told you salary wise it's a very different thing in btech you learn the basic things of engineering computer science or whatever domain but when you go for mtech you learn very specific things and you become an expert once you an expert you are an expert expert versus a normal engineer salary is always a big difference until you learn those expertise by working a lot by yourself working a lot or maybe you know learning separately you cannot beat a person who is expert just by working here and there if you learn in mtech in iits you cannot be beaten i am sure i can know that i can tell you i'll i'll have another story see the thing is after btech whenever you go for the job you start working under somebody somebody will decide what to do and you will do it after a few years you will have some you know senior promotion or something but still you will not be the sole decision maker that what to be done in the software or in the entire design part etc why just because you don't have the design part why just because the underlying structure and architect texture etc etc you are not aware of and to learn that of course you'll have to spare too much of extra time which is certainly not possible in the big companies now after mtech during mtech when you learn the domain knowledge after 2 to 3 years you will be in the position where you learned in two years of mtech after two years of job four years total you will be in the position where you can say i can decide what to do why just because you know in and out every procedure of that particular software and design you have learned the underlying theoretical thing then practically you have implemented it in your in your job and you will become the decision maker so the you know growth or i should say the journey to in reaching to the decision maker is quicker i am not saying that btech person immediately after btech if you go for a job you cannot learn it i am telling you you can learn it but the journey is very smooth and quicker after mtech as compared to btech even if at the same time a person directly going for the job after btech a person after mtech going for the job 
you will see the difference of the knowledge for sure just because mtech teaches you a lot of lot of things which you cannot learn in the btech so the money wise as i told you the decision making wise you will be better in the after the mtech so a lot of opportunities are there if you have really really good placements after your btech go ahead with that if not then my recommendation is try for the gate examination crack it go for mtech and i am 100% sure that you will learn as much as in your mtech 2 years that you have never ever learnt before in 4 years of your degree or maybe even before that so for your learning for your career for your long term career if you want to have a great foundation go for mtech and learn a lot of things over there you will make connections with the professors you will make connections with lot of you know bright minds of the country and you will enjoy that perk of connection just because any time you will be in the trouble you will directly connect with them and you will have the solution in front of you okay that's it from my end if you will have still some doubts queries question please drop in the comment box whatever your queries are and we will try to solve thank you so much have a great day happy learning bye bye